Good day, my brothers and sisters. I welcome you to the fifth Sunday in ordinary time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, to be worthy to celebrate this Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins, asking God forgiveness and mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. My Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Save, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job spoke, saying, Is not man's life on earth a drudgery? Are not his days those of hirelings? He is a slave who longs for the shade, a hireling who waits for his wages. So I have been assigned months of misery, and troubled nights have been allotted to me. If in bed I say, when shall I arise, then the night drags on. I am filled with restlessness until the dawn. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle. They come to an end without hope. Remember that my life is like the wind. I shall not see happiness again. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, this is no reason for me to boast, for an obligation has been imposed on me, and woe to me if I do not preach it. If I do so willingly, I have a recompense, but if unwillingly, then I have been entrusted with the stewardship. What then is my recompense? That when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. Although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so as to win over as many as possible. To the weak I became weak, to win over the weak. I have become all things to all, to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel, so that I too may have a share in it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law was Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grasped her hand, and helped her up. Then the fever left her, and she waited on them. When it was evening after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases, and he drove out many demons, not permitting them to speak because they knew him. Rising early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him, and on finding him said, Everyone is looking for you. He told them, Let us go on to the nearby villages that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogue preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. St. Paul said in the second reading that all he was doing is to enable him to have a share, a share of the gospel, so that God can give him a share of the good news. And in the gospel, when the apostles were looking for Jesus, eventually they found him and they were saying, everybody was looking for you. And he said, my purpose, the reason why I am here, is to preach the good news, is to share the gospel. 
So I went home and we boarded in San Francisco, then got to Germany. So in Germany, people, if you, you can board with your hard copy boarding pass, then you can come with your phone. I was laughing some minutes ago because things happen in coincidence. So this guy came with his phone in the gate. He passed the gate. By the time he got inside the plane, the phone died and he could not locate his seat and there was a backup. So people were rushing to get into the plane. So I came behind this woman and she looked back and said, keep your distance, keep your distance. And I said, I'm keeping my distance. So I went back to the other person and the person said, keep your distance, keep your distance. The woman in front of me chasing me back, the man behind me pushing me forward. How do I keep my distance? I cannot go, I cannot come. So I said anyway, keeping distance or not keeping distance, I will go home today. So I stood in between them. I moved to the man and if he wants to talk, I moved to the woman. And eventually they started laughing. But the, mis the message of St. Paul says, so that I will have a share. I will have a share. And Jesus said, I am here for this. I do not want their, maybe, sensitivity to destroy my happiness of going home. I have a purpose. I'm going home to celebrate the birth of Christ, the Christmas with my family. And they are trying to destroy my happiness. You are so close to me. And I move back. And the person behind you are so close to me. And I move forward. You are so close to me. They want me to start quarreling or shouting. And I said to myself, instead of getting sad at this point, let me be free. So I was dangling between them with my luggage. And they started laughing. So that I will have a share in this plan. But the other funny side of it is technology. The guy who caused the backup, the phone died, and he could not locate his seat. And the people in the plane, you know, you come in, you show your body pass, they say, oh, three seats one, go to left, three seats two, go to right. So he came, he was pressing the phone. Oh, the phone is not coming on. Oh, the battery died. And he didn't want to give way. He wants his problem to be solved. And somebody just told me last week something like that happened here also. So the message today, do not allow the uncertainties, the break in transmission to deny you a share of the gospel. Or do not allow people's bad behavior to distract you from the real message. Jesus said, for this I have come. I know my plan, I have a purpose. So even if you are looking for me, even if you are happy because I cured, I healed, I cast out devil, it is not only about that, I'm here to preach the good news. So in this distraction of pandemic, of sadness, anxiety, anger, you have a purpose. Do not allow your purpose, your plan, to be destroyed or taken away by people's anger or sadness or over-excitement sometimes. Stick to the plan. God will eventually give you a share of the gospel. May we proclaim our faith in God. I believe in one God. Of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all God from God, life from life, true God from true God, 
begun to love him, comes us change with love. Through him all things shall be for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. The mighty Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became him. For our sake he was pushed by the Holy Spirit. He saw my bed and was prayer. He rose again on the third day, and I come out through the scriptures. He has ascended into heaven, and I will sit there at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one whole God and the Apostolic Church. I confess one of the reason for the forgiveness of sin. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. Love you, Lord. Amen. May we present before God Almighty our prayers and our petition, asking Him in His love to give us a share in the Gospel of Christ. For the church, that we may be instruments of healing, relieving the suffering of those who are burdened with illness or frailty, and offering support and hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That God will continue to bless our parish and diocese, strengthen our faith, and grant us the spirit of stewardship by opening our hearts in support of this year's annual diocesan appeal. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For peace and justice, that the Holy Spirit will inspire all to find new ways to overcome obstacles and misunderstandings and bring an end to the senseless cycle of violence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who echo Job's cry, those struggling to survive, fleeing violence or searching for food, that the Holy Spirit will give them strength and open our hearts to assist them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For effective and rapid distribution of the COVID vaccines, that God will inspire and guide those who are distributing and administering the vaccines and bring an end to the pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For transformation of our hearts, that we may see the face of Christ in those we are called to serve, and never grow weary in offering love and compassion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For renewed hope, that the Holy Spirit of God will make us confident in sharing God's message, and our actions will be an invitation to others to encounter God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the spirit of healing, particularly for those inscribed in our Book of the Sick, that God will strengthen their minds and bodies and restore them to wholeness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who have died this week, including Alfredo Alvarado and Esther Galindo, that God will welcome them into the eternal banquet to live in God's presence forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have prayers. For the prayers we now offer, especially for all parishioners and Mark Lancaster, and for the repose of the souls of Norman Ebro, Samantha Feorenas, Kieran Coyle, and Efren Linares, Jr., we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God, our Father, we have made this day our petitions and our prayers known to you. Receive them from the bounty of your love. Do not look unto our weakness. May your love and mercy be the watchword. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we know that at this moment we could have come to the altar of God, giving thanks, our donations, our offertory, our gifts. But because we could not do it right now, 
but we will still have time and opportunity to do it online. If you scroll down the video, you can see the link. You can drop it off in the PMC or by mail or give it to one of us. We count on your generosity and love. May God continue to bless you. Thank you. Sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise, praise and glory of His name. For our good and good of all His church. Yeah. O Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant we pray that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body you will not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruit of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the past mystery. And so, with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we are glad. so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Oscar, Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. You work on them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may bear it to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, I found by divine teaching we that to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me, your merciful Lord. 
O Lord, let me never be put to shame, for I call on your name. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live, that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Little announcement, my brothers and sisters. Today's second collection is being taken to support our community ministry. Your contribution enables us to continue to provide food assistance and other services to those in most need. Thank you for your continued generosity. We remind ourselves once again that this year's ADA continues in our parish and throughout our diocese in order to achieve our goal. Each of us is asked to open our heart to the needs of our diocese and make a gift as our individual circumstances allow. Please prayerfully consider what you can do to participate in this appeal. We want your participation and need your support. May God bless you as you continue to help us to grow. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God continue to bless your Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ending. Let us go in peace to love and to serve. Thanks be to God. Have a very nice weekend.